Hey guys, so I want to start off by saying thank you to Sarah for uploading my video last week when I was in Edinburgh, which is a handy segue to what I'm going to talk about today, which is all the stuff I saw at the Fringe. I wrote down a list because otherwise I thought I'd forget stuff because I went to see 22 shows over the space of five days so it's quite a lot. I won't talk about all of them, I'm just going to talk about a few of the kind of best things that I saw. In terms of comedy, I saw Mae Martin on the first day, which was just kind of a work in progress for her next show. She's a Canadian comedian, she's been on Russell Howard's Good News, which is where I first saw her, and she really did not disappoint. She's really funny and just really likeable and great. Some more great comedy we saw, again free, with The Birthday Girls, a sketch show with these three lovely ladies. I don't normally like sketch comedy so much, but it was really really hilarious they're all really talented and it kind of wasn't always quite what you're expecting which just made it that much funnier we also saw these guys at the free fringe who are half of the beta males which is a sketch group i think we didn't actually see the actual show but we saw adam and guy from the beta males do a little bit of stand-up and particularly funny was adam it's this one who, quite attractive, but unfortunately was wearing really, really ugly trousers, so needs to work on his dress sense. But he did kind of really disturbing children's stories, it's kind of children's stories as they really, really are, and they're really kind of dark and hilarious. We also saw some non-free comedy. Ivo Graham, who is 22 year old, went to Eton. His show was mainly about kind of being at Eton, and he's kind of nerdy in a great way talked about pointless when we saw him in a kind of panel show thing earlier in the week with tom rosenthal and also about sporkle in his actual show so we warmed to him he was fun and david elms who poppy my friend who i went with was at uni with him well, they weren't friends but they were at uni at the same time so i went to see him and he was great did make me come up on stage for a whole segment of his show which was less than ideal but okay and I think the fact that I was kind of okay with it shows that he was he was good and nice. We also saw a lot of really really good theatre, some really powerful stuff, particularly these two. Travesty, mmm such a pretty poster and so it goes. Travesty is a show that's just six guys on stage, very minimalist, all in suits and the script is taken from interviews with women so it kind of they are speaking the women's words as if it was them and it really just highlights everyday sexism. It was really really powerful. I've seen rumours on Twitter that it might be coming to London at some point so I would recommend that, it was really really good. And this So It Goes had me and Poppy and everyone else in the theatre sobbing pretty much for the hour solid. It's about this girl Hannah whose dad died when she was 17 and she wrote the show and is performing the show and does it all instead of speaking did it through writing on a whiteboard that was kind of hung around her neck and put on her chest so she'd write everything down and it just really really worked. She really captured kind of the life of her dad I guess and the death beautifully and it's kind of simple and yet really powerful. Just two people in the cast only one line said out loud. I saw it was picked as a highlight for kind of loads of newspapers and reviews and stuff, so it may have a future as well. We also saw outings, which were similarly minimalist, along the same lines of travesty actually, except instead of each member of the cast telling one particular person's story, they all kind of read various different coming out tales, and it just worked really well. It was funny, it was sad, and really enjoyable, and it was every day they had a different guest star and we went when it was Simon Callow, so that was also really cool because it's it's Simon Callow. This cast member was also in Birthday Girls, so multi-talented. While there we also saw a shadow ballet, which I didn't think would be the sort of thing I like, but it was really really good, called Pomegranate Jam, which was kind of a retelling of the Persephone story, where Persephone had a bit more control over her story and chose to stay with Hades rather than being kidnapped. I really liked that retelling. We also saw Paxo, which was Jeremy Paxman's kind of one-man show, which was, it was just kind of average, to be honest. It was really interesting, but it was kind of, if you weren't Jeremy Paxman, it wouldn't have been, if that makes sense. Another thing that happened while we were there is there was this big, giant black box by one of our venues, and you just queued to go in for free, and you didn't have any clue what was inside, and it's a bit creepy, but Poppy wanted to go inside, so I went with her, even though we could have died. But it was not that creepy inside actually, and obviously a large expense had to be promotion for something, so I'm just going to play into that promotion. It was for Pepsi Max, and we got something strange to own, now a Pepsi bottle with my face on. So that's, that's a strange thing that is now in my possession. I will put a list down below maybe of everything I saw, because I didn't mention everything, because, you know, busy busy. And maybe at the top I'll put 
some links of YouTube clips if I can find them of the people that I really recommend. Yeah, that's it. I love Fringe and I recommend that any of you go if you ever get the chance because it's just really, really fun. Okay, I will see you all next week, guys. Bye.